Let me show you the switch side first. We have our easy opening hoods with our automatic wind stop latch that latches the hood automatically in the open position so no wind can gust and unlatch it on the lineman. This is a typical nine configuration unit which means it's four ways, two ways switch, two ways with breaker protection. We have vacuum switches doing all the load interruption with a visible disconnect in series with it. This is the fuse holder for the uh, PT. We fuse the PT that provides control power for the breakers so we always have power so if we ever close the breaker into a fault it's already pre-powered by the PT. The PT is large enough that we can also use it and tap off it for power for a future remote terminal unit. This is the breaker side of the unit or the protection side. We've done the same thing. We can add motor operators on either side in the future. And then we just have two breaker protected ways here. Just a simple open and close by the handles to open and close the breaker. Should you close in on the breaker, it is a trip free mechanism that it will trip free if it's closed into a fault. If you note here, these are the sight glasses that a yellow rod protrudes out to when the breaker is tripped to show you that it has tripped. This is the control for the breaker. You'll notice we're using a Schweitzer 501-2 relay. What this is, is this relay controls the two breakers we have. That's why it's called the two. It has one microprocessor and it has tripping for two breakers. This relay has a lot of functionality. I mentioned that it has all the standard IEC and ANSI curves in it. You can also program your own curves in it and change the curves of the IEC or ANSI curves with timers and cell logic. Let me just show you the inside to show you the quality of our manufacturing here at Trayer Engineering. We have our wires coming out of the tank, coming to shorting blocks for the CTs, fusing for our transformers, and then our capacitors for our stored energy for tripping the breakers. The other thing we've done, since this is a microprocessor relay, you need power to be able to program it. So what we set up here is you bring in 110 power if somebody's in the yard, your relay protection person can come in, plug 110 power to it, flip it from the operational mode to the test mode, and the relay will function and everything in the breaker will function. And you can go through a full functional test you can test the breaker, you can look at the status. So it's very easy to use, but it does have metering functions, so if you want to run fiber optic to it, that's available.